it was a, a great example to see really the effects of um, emphasizing data, all our thoughts and emotions and experiences, and have have that really in in, in a visual way laid out. What what would happen in a in a group of people, or you you yourself just rely on data and act on them, and then. Um, and then to come here and see the results of something about you that is completely powerful, empowered, and of benefit. And then to see these, these two ways to go. You can choose. It's the most important choice in your life to see, well, will I choose to emphasize my thoughts and emotions and experiences and and we heard how that could look like. Or, and it's a very disempowering way to live, and we all know it, we all have experience in that. Or we come here and to the Balance Youth Training and are introduced to something about us that is, well, that's our natural state, first of all, and, can, and provides a life of total benefit, a total benefit and ease. I can just share my experience, how my life completely shifted to a life of ease and benefit, where everything, no matter what comes up, all my thoughts and emotional experiences, they don't affect me and they don't make me act. And if you just imagine here at the center, everybody acting out, and we did that just before, acting out on our data streams, we wouldn't want to come here, right? Like, it, it'll, it'll be unpleasant and we might have to hide and have many cupboards and <laughs> like just <laughs> a fading place and <coughs> just go wild. But here's a place of complete empowerment. It's an environment of empowerment and respectful relating, of seeing what we are capable of as a human being. And then we see it here at the center, and then we see that it's possible in the world. Now, that, that's an amazing step, but once you <coughs> test it in your experience, you know exactly, then you know what, what is said here, what is being shared here. How, when we test it in our experience, how that is possible for ourselves, relying on open intelligence and seeing we don't have to go with all our data streams and we can take full responsibility for our data streams, then we can see what that means for the world. First, we see it here in, our, in the community. It's a place of total openness and respect for <laughs> relating and benefit, <coughs> being of benefit and even if lots of data are going on, like I don't like this and I can't do that and I feel sick today and I, this and that, it jumps this and that in, in, in all directions and that is where the empowerment is. We have that choice to recognize open intelligence and go the empowerment way, or we disempower ourselves by emphasizing all these data streams. And the four mainstays, they support that empowerment completely. And we can use them however we want to use them. When we come here, everything is available. The short moments are available right now. The trainings are available at the information table. You can see all the, the big array of trainings that are available and they, they evoke open intelligence. You heard about the transmission power. Just coming here, you see that there is something. Well, it was for me like that. I came and saw there's something I want. And that's the transmission power. And then when you read text, they evoke open intelligence without you needing to do anything because it's already present. Open intelligence is inseparable of everything, like the color blue in the sky, the breeze in the air. And then the trainer giving direct instructions and sharing their experience so yet everybody knows, okay, I can do it too. 
and have guidance, direct instructions. Like a great metaphor is like when you want to climb the Mount Everest, you take a guide with you. You just don't just walk off and, okay, I'll just walk to that peak up there. You might want to be prepared and just see what kind of tools you take and have a guide who says, okay, well, we'll not jump from here and we'll walk up there. And just in a very simple way, the trainer provides these instructions and guidance shares their own experience where how did I use the Four Mainstays? How am I using the Four Mainstays? The Four Mainstays are like a lifestyle. They're just, I can't even think about my life without the Four Mainstays. It's just what is, and it means open intelligence power. And then the community as well, the, the fourth mainstay. And we spoke a lot about the community today and just seeing the power in people relying on open intelligence. And you know what happens sometimes if we would go out for dinner somewhere, we would just sit there and then somebody comes and says, what, what is with you, you all? You know, they just, they don't have a reason why they come, but they sense something, you know, like that, that, that happens to us so often. Like, what, what, why are you all there together? And then if they ask which country, then we have so many countries, <laughs> you know, like, Germany, England, US, um, oh, well, if I start now the countries, I don't want to leave anybody out. So you, all the countries, you know, all the countries. And, and then I say, well, how, and, and, and what is, you know, and just that power of people relying on open intelligence, complete openness, open-heartedness, respect for relating. But there's something there you, you can't really, really understand. It's the power of open intelligence that, that shines benefit no matter what's going on. If we let data dominate our actions, then that's what is felt. And that's always very tense and disempowering. So that's why, you know, why are we coming back again and again here to the open meeting? <laughs> I'm coming back to the open meeting since eight years, I think. <laughs> Only doesn't mean it's not long. It's amazing. Just and it's so it come back and I can hear and I can hear it again and think, wow. Because it's inexhaustible, it's inexhaustible. Gaining confidence in open intelligence as the four main says is inexhaustible. Life gets better and better. And the power to be of benefit together gets more and more. When I just think Candace was saying, I think the last sentence was, and there are more and more people coming. No, I can't, it's a paraphrasing here. And I was just then thinking about when we came here first time to go up. Well, first of all, Candace came first time to India. There were no communities in Europe. There were some communities in California and Montana. And then she came to India to Rishikesh and we you know, we just stumble upon a poster, thank you. Uh, we were so lucky to, to stumble upon a poster and go into the open meeting. And from there, and, and, and the, from there it really started that communities, that people listened to the introduction to open intelligence and started relying on open intelligence in the four mainstays. And then we went down to Goa. We just went down. We were, we were sitting over there in the magic park on cushions, and we were maybe 20 people. And when Candice did the first open meeting, we were like just a handful of people. You have to sit. Wow. And then over these years, it just grew. And then look in Europe now, and, and in the United States, and all over all continents, there are people now relying on open intelligence and using the Four Mainstays, empower the Four Mainstays lifestyle to empower themselves and to see what, they are, what we are capable of as a human being and to say no to disempowering ways of relating, of treating ourselves and other people. And when that happens here, we just, we say, we don't speak like that with each other. It's just not a place we don't allow disrespectful relating. It's just, and we can stand up and say, 
that's not what we are doing here. This is an environment of respect for relating and empowerment. And to stand up like that in our lives, we stand up in the world for the benefit of all. To not allow what is happening around the world. And we, have to, we take responsibility for that. And people who are open to it, they test it out. People who are not open to it, don't test it out. But the ship is turning. Do you know that metaphor where, it's, where we are all on the ship and the ship is turning and, and everybody's turning? The world can't go on with disrespect. And it, disrespect is a mild word for what's happening in the world, right? <laughs> it's the violence discrimination, isolation, abuse, I mean, we c and, and we want to make a stop there and see what we are capable of. And we are capable of, of an era of great benefit as we can, and we test that in our experience first, and we stand up for that. So that you see that, that the Four Mainstays lifestyle, it, the starting point is complete mental and emotional stability and ease in life, and then we are just so amazed. Wow, that's possible? Then that's the starting point. And then to see what, what is possible. So we test it out like a scientist in our experience. What is possible for me? And we only have the data streams we have, the thoughts and emotions. And that's the perfect, perfect data streams to recognize open intelligence. And then we we have a scientific research in our own lab and see that it works. We see the results of the Four Mainstays lifestyle. So, well, that was my experience with it. So I, d I simply share my experience of how I am just amazed what the Four Mainstays, what they, what they do to my life. It's unbelievable, and I'm very grateful too, and I'm grateful not only for my life. I'm grateful just seeing everybody and seeing, seeing what is possible, what we can do in our world. I always want it to be of benefit. Something's missing. Something has to be done. We can't continue on. And now to have a solution to all problems, <laughs> open intelligence, no more searching. That's amazing.